I'm totally fascinated by tiny homes and there are some beautiful luxury ones all over the interwebs. There are tiny homes that are being built across the nation and in many other countries as well. And some of them are super mega luxurious. And I'm going to be sharing those with you today. So let's go on the old Google webs and take a look at them because apparently a lot of us have a lot of time at home. I'm going to go ahead and put those websites in the description so you can look at them yourself. Some of them are in the United States and some of them are not in the United States. And some of them you can actually use for glamping. Oh, and I cut my finger. <laughs> So one of the prettiest homes I've seen is by a couple that is on the DIY network. I don't have any pictures of the inside, but I wanted you to see the outside of this particular tiny home. It is absolutely stunning. It was so pretty I ended up putting it in the thumbnail. So this is the house. Ah, I could live there forever. I don't know if my husband would enjoy being around me that close for a long period of time, but I know darn well. <laughs> I could easily live in this house, easily. I wish they had more pictures of the inside, but it was just too beautiful and too luxurious not to share with you guys. Let me show you the other ones that they have built, but again, they don't show the inside, which is kind of a big bummer, but at least we can see how talented these two are really are. They're absolutely amazing. Look at that one even has a little, oh, look right at the top. It has a, a beautiful little deck area, like your little sun area. You can have your coffee in the morning if it's a really pretty area. Aww. This one, again, they did that porch on the upstairs. Very smart use of space. I bet it folds down for travel. Well, duh. Sometimes I can be so dingy. <laughs> and this is them. They're so young and cute. But they were, those houses were too cute not to share and definitely highly luxurious. So this one I have to share with you because I'm a real estate agent. And this tiny home was listed on the market a while back. <laughs> a tiny home, it's 510 square feet. It kind of looks like something the Smurfs would live in. And it's adorbs, I just love it. I could totally see like a little family just living here for uh, like a camp type thing. I don't know if you could really do it full time unless you really got along really well with your family. Uh, I don't know if I get along with my family that well, but they have those beautiful archway doors and that beautiful fireplace with the stone around it. And look at the ceiling. It definitely has that country charm. I guess you would say almost like a farmhouse style. Did I miss the bedroom? So you have a bathroom inside kitchen and no freaking bedroom for $1.1 million and there's no bedroom. I guess you can sleep on the couch. <laughs> That's a lot for a very tiny house. Get yourself a pullout, a little futon, get your Murphy bed. <sighs> well, that's what you get for California. It's expensive. All right, next we're gonna be looking at homes by Utopia Homes out of Wisconsin. So this one um, right here is from Utopia Homes, is a 275 square foot home that is a truly ahead of its time. Here's the floor plan that they have for this particular house. And it shows you everything that they put in there to make the space very usable. It's 275 square feet with vaulted ceilings. It has a loft area, even has an off the grid option as well. The future is a crafter inside and out with a unique modern flair that gives it its name. It, using a fifth wheel design, the future will share all the same amenities you will have in a full size home. The floor plan was carefully designed to provide ample space for cooking or entertaining. For a tiny home, this is a very decent sized kitchen and look how tall the cabinets are. You gotta love the fact that the bedrooms give you a lot of extra storage as well. It's a fully tiled shower with undermount sink in the bathroom and it's tiled all the way through so you don't have to worry about water damaging your floors. So that was pretty smart design. And all of this could be yours for $79,332. These right here are my favorite. I know I shouldn't be playing favorites, but I'm playing favorites because these are to me are the epitome of luxury. If I'm gonna be traveling on the road, I wanna feel like I'm at home and these make me feel like I'm at home in the highest style possible. This is a uh, modern tiny living and they have all sorts of different floor plans. The one we're gonna be looking at is called the Serenity. So it does look like a regular park model type of tiny home. Look at those ceilings. I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. And they give you all this extra cabinet space in the kitchen. I mean, it goes all the way to the ceiling. The kitchen is huge and gives you tons of counter space, which is a really hard thing to find in a tiny home. 
That kitchen is something. I just love the fact that it has all that closet space. Now you don't have a much like cooking space as far as like a stove, but the sink is huge. And most likely it's gonna be, you know, I don't think they're gonna be putting a family and eight in here anyway. So you only need the one burner. And if you haven't yet, get an Instapot. Those things are fantastic. <laughs> Oh, look how clever this is. You see the little cabinets right there? Those fold up. So as you're driving along, you can put that stuff up in the cabinetry and you don't have to worry about it bouncing around. Super smart and clever. And you'll have plenty of seating if you have people come over. You could at least sit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight small people in that, that area right there, which is pretty difficult to do in a typical tiny home. They even have this storage underneath. So if you want to go ahead and store some things like your clothes or whatever, you can hide that away and you don't have to worry about it being out for guests. Lots of extra storage, but who doesn't love that? Especially if you're going to have tiny living. That couch folds out to a full size bed. And they, of course they have the loft as well. What I liked about this loft is that it didn't seem like it was so short where you would hit your head as soon as you woke up in the morning. It actually has some uh, space up above so that way you're not like, <laughs> cause I know me, I'm super klutzy. And I know that every morning I'd wake up, I'd hit my head. <laughs> Look at the bathroom. <laughs> that is a full luxury bathroom. Look at the stonework on that. Wow, that is super impressive. So pretty. And then your little, uh, what I like to call the pupatorium. It's, it's very cute, rustic, but pretty and sleek and modern. And then you've got a little bill desk area. What a fantastic use of space. That's a house from Modern Tiny Living. They have all sorts of different homes there as well. You can look at their models on their website. I'm gonna show you some of their other models here. And all of them seem to be very luxury high end, but they're not that expensive. If you're going the luxury route, just spend 69,000 to 85,000 for a beautiful tiny home. It's not that, that bad. Here's the Coco, super cute. It's kind of like a box on wheels. Let's see what the inside looks like. Oh, that's so pretty. It definitely has that nice modern feel. Wow. Look at the nice smooth top countertops and the undermount sink. They have hidden away the microwave. They look like they have tons of shelving. It actually has a slide shelf right here. Behind that slide shelf is a closet, barn doors, wood accents. This is spectacular. And you would never have thought you would be able to get that much in that little tiny box. Here's some more of that closet. Oh, so pretty. The Coco is a 25 foot trailer made from custom tiny home trailer foundation. The first floor is 160 square feet. It fits a queen loft custom built, built in dresser and shelving. That's 70 square feet. Metal roof with 40 year warranty. The weight is 9,000 pounds. The Coco is 67,000 as shown. The Mohican model starts at 59,000. The next tiny homes we're gonna be looking at is straight out of Canada, eh? But they have fantastic high-end tiny homes that you can purchase. So if you're in Canada, this will be right up your alley. So let's just see how beautiful these are. This is called the Orm. So this is the exterior of the home. And I love that dark wood, which would be very pretty to hide into the mountains. You just kind of like nestle in the trees and no one would ever even see you. It's so pretty and it's very modern, which I really like. With it only being 8.5 feet wide, you would feel like it would be more like this. And I'm, I'm a small person, but the way that they made this work with the lights and the windows coming in, it does not feel small in these photographs at all, especially with those super high ceilings. This house is 255 square feet. It has two bedrooms and it says it accommodates two to four people. The base price for this house is 118,000. Canadian dollars, Canada. It's expensive, eh? That's my attempt at a really crummy Canadian accent. The Magnolia is 385 square feet. It has one bedroom, it seats four to six people. It's $130,000 Canadian dollars. What is that in American dollars? I'm gonna have to figure that out. But this is absolutely fantastic. The shower is three by 42 and the kitchen is what comes with a peninsula. 
The interior design, for the first time, they designed a tiny house with a white paneled ceiling instead of a typical stain. Indeed, this aspect of interior design makes the house look much brighter. Adding an additional darker beams creates contrast, matching the other stained wood elements in the house. The interior layout is created so that there is a larger open area for the living room and other main floor area. The central loft under which the bathroom is located can serve as a storage space as well for any guests. The next tiny homes we're going to be looking at is called New Frontier Homes. And unfortunately, they don't really tell you the price, but they're definitely luxury. And if you want to get their pricing, you can go on their website. Again, I will go ahead and put the link to description if you like this particular tiny home. They also have tiny homes that are considered glamping, which is glamour camping. <laughs> They're luxury tiny homes that are dressed up to make them look much more exquisite so you don't feel like you're camping out in the outdoors, which is perfect for people like myself because I like to be a little bit pampered and feel like I'm not in a cabin. So um, there's this place called the Tiny Tack House and it's super adorable. It was originally designed in 2011 by Melissa and Chris Tack. The Tiny Tack House was used as a primary residence for four years and now is available on an Airbnb rental. It's 140 square feet tiny house that is located in Everett, Washington. The tax built of the tiny house in just seven months and it cost under $20,000 in materials including the salvage including the salvaged and sustainable sourced wood. The inside is six feet three inches long. It has two tables and the bathroom is fitted with a wine barrel shower. Nightly rates start at $63. You can view more details on the Airbnb listing. The whimsical lighting sets the perfect mood for whatever you may be with the dimmable LED lights. Now this is the only thing I don't like about this tiny home. <laughs> I don't like a green bathroom. <laughs> the loft with 270 degree view will let the sunrise inspire you each and every morning with the panoramic view of the king size perch. This loft area definitely gives you a lot more headroom than in some of the other ones, even ones that I've shown in previous videos. And it doesn't look like you bump your head in the morning. That's always my biggest fear with a tiny home, that I'll wake up in the morning and bump my head. I probably have like a permanent knot after a year living in a tiny home. <laughs> and I'm not a big fan of the yellow kitchen, but it doesn't matter because everything else is so beautiful. And if you had views like that, that I could deal with the green bathroom in the yellow kitchen. At least the yellow is nice and cheery. The fold-out desk and library shelves, designed with the writer in mind, you'll find an ample shelf space, headroom, enough for your big idea and dedicated workspace. The next properties we're gonna be looking at are from tinyheirlooms.com. So we're gonna go ahead and look at their homes right now. Let's go straight to the signature series because I always find that those are the cutest ones. Tiny heirloom homes offer fu fully customizable homes so you can design them any way you want to. So they have this whole entire website so you can pick out the exterior and then as you pick out the exterior, you can add the interior features that you want, even with the undermount sinks and the accents with the uh, siding on the walls. And if you have a really eclectic style, you could even put a rock climbing wall on the outside of your tiny home. They even have features with tons of cabinet space. When you go on their website, they don't have a lot of photographs, but they do have different kinds of floor plans that you can choose from. So as you scroll through the website, you can see that they have every different kinds of style you can imagine, and especially some of them that are on the luxury sign. Unfortunately, they don't have any videos of this completed, but they do have renderings that they have created on their website. So I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see what luxury really looks like in cartoon style. The next group of tiny homes we're gonna be looking at are straight out of Tennessee from the Wind River Tiny Homes. They definitely have a more cottage style, but they're still very luxurious. This one's called the Lupine. The Lupine is a 32 foot tiny house with a gooseneck trailer. The front entrance of the house only has one window, no light through the door. But when you walk inside, the first thing you'll notice is the window and the wall have a great view. The other unique features of the Lupine are the 36 inch main entrance across from the slide glass door, LG appliances, three by four wood hardwood floors, grizzly cubic mini wood stove, tile shower with a black shower pan and wood panel shower pan cover, river rock standing freeform bathroom sink, a skylight in the bedroom over the gooseneck with solar powered auto darkening shade and custom built in storage over the bed of the, the gooseneck. Next, we're going to the great state of Alabama. We're going to be looking at the Freedom V2 by Alabama Tiny Homes. This beautiful house has been modified a version of the tiny homes most popular model, the Freedom. The exterior is a primary wood natural siding with metal accent piece around the siding glass entry. The U-shaped kitchen is complete with a freestanding range, refrigerator, freezer, 
and a large number of upper and lower cabinets. The storage stairs have a pull-out table and stools and they'll lead you up to the bedroom loft. In the living room is a Murphy bed, an electric fireplace, plus an LCD TV. The bathroom includes a full-size tub with a tile surround, a rain shower head system with spraying body parts, stackable washer and dryer, and a large closet. Believe it or not, this house is only $68,000. You want more information on this particular one? Go ahead and visit Alabama Tiny Homes. I've always been fascinated how other people live in different alternative ways that they have built their own homes. If you know anybody in your local area that has built their own tiny home, even ones that people have made from sheds and turned them into tiny homes, please let me know who they are. I'd love to interview them. All my contact information is in the description. I've also done some other videos on tiny homes that have been pretty popular with everybody, so you may want to click this video right here. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer, and I tell you all this because you matter. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that button.